Millions of cattle are currently being transported across the United States as this year's fall run continues. This can be a stressful time though for cattle and it's important that producers and haulers do what they can to limit the stress on those animals. There are three major stressors in cattle's lives throughout their production cycle. Those are birth, weaning, and transportation. If improperly transported, you can see a negative impact on the performance of cattle as a result of stress. Research has shown that shipping-related stress can have a noticeable impact on immunity and prolong the amount of time the calves are off-feed following a shipping. Um, the reason transportation is so stressful is because we're taking an animal from an environment they were raised in or comfortable in and sending them to a new environment. So they're experiencing many new changes and so that's what makes it so stressful on them. Also when they're on a trailer they got to maintain balance or hold themselves on the trailer and so that uh, expends a lot of energy for them when they do that and so again that can also increase stress as well. Um, a past beef quality assurance survey showed uh, when we were looking at Texas and Nebraska feed yards that feeder cattle coming into the feed yards in those states were traveling almost 500 miles and a little over 500 miles in some instances. And so we know that cattle are on trailers for a long period of time. Um, and so because of that, we need to make sure that we are following simple basic guidelines and best management practices to ensure that these animals, uh, the amount of stress that are exhibited to these animals is very little. Before cattle are shipped, the first thing haulers should do is check the cattle over for any signs that they might not be fit for transportation. This includes checking the overall health of the animal, the mobility score of the animal, and the animal's body condition score. When it comes to the health status of the animal, that's a big biosecurity risk, right? So we don't want to be sending animals that are sick that might jeopardize other cattle. When it comes to mobility scoring, uh, the mobility score is broken down into four different categories. Ones and twos mobility scores, um, those animals are fit for transport, load them on the trailer, send them down the road. So a mobility score of one is totally normal, the animal walks normal, moves out normal, and there's nothing we need to worry about. When we see a mobility score of two, that is when we might see a slight limp or a little bit of stiffness in their stride. Um, that's not really a major concern. The real thing that we're looking at is if they can stay caught up with the, their herd mates as we move them from the pens. It's when we get to our mobility score of three where we need to take some extra precautions. So mobility score of three is when we have an obvious limp, obvious stiffness, and so uh, one real key indicator of that is when we move cattle out as a pen, we see one animal fall to the back and they can't stay caught up with their herd mates. That automatically makes them a mobility score of three. Now, we can transport mobility score of three animals, but we need to do it with special provisions. What we mean by that is that animal needs to be the last one on the trailer, that way they can be the first one off. A mobility score of four, those animals exhibit uh, extreme stiffness. They don't really want to move. Um, even when they're encouraged by a handler to move out, they kind of just want to stand there because the, the, either their foot hurts or their leg hurts, something like that, that's really affecting their mobility. Those animals do not need to be transported. We do not transport those animals under BQA guidelines um, because if that animal goes down the trailer, the likelihood for them to recover is not very great. When it comes to body condition score, uh, the BQA guidelines set forth says that we should not be transporting cattle that are a body condition score of two or less. So many producers understand the body condition score for beef cattle is a one to nine scale with our target being a five or six. So if we're being asked under BQA guidelines not to transport cattle that are a two or less, that gives us three body condition scores to make up our mind like, okay, this animal is not able to retain weight. We need to make sure we market them as quickly as possible um, so that they can get on further down the production cycle, possibly on down to the harvest side of it. Um, or we retain those animals, we hold them back, try to put a little extra uh, uh, feed or groceries to them in order for them to get their body weight back up to a, a, um, a good level before we transport them. We'll have more BQA tips from Jesse coming up next week. But if you'd like to learn more about beef quality assurance guidelines and practices in the meantime, you can find all that you'd like to learn online at the website beefwatch.unl.edu. We'll also include a helpful link along with this story. You can find them on the Market Journal website.